Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to look at Slax. Slax is my favorite Linux distribution uh, for several reasons. One, it's small, it's fast, it's portable, it's easily modified. You can add many, many different programs to it. Uh, on the Slax uh, website, it's easy to find, just Google it. There's a section in here called Modules, and there is a large number of modules that can be added to Slax. Uh, one of the categories here, artwork. Look at it. We've got quite a few different uh, pieces of programs that can be added. Uh, Open Office being one of my favorites. Uh, Open Office is just like a suite, uh, like Microsoft uh, Suite, using Word, Excel, PowerPoint, several different applications. Under the modules, you can also find programs like GIMP, which is a great uh, clone of uh, Adobe Photoshop. Very nice program. Others for security, like Wireshark, uh, Nmap, um, others. Uh, the, the list goes on and on. There's probably hundreds of different modules that can be added to Slacks. i uh, show you how easy it is. Uh, all we do is we come down here to one of our uh, categories. Uh, say under Artwork, let me just select this first one here. Come over here to Download. Your Download window comes up, and we can easily save it. I've gone ahead and pre-saved quite a few that I'm going to include in a new uh, distribution. And I'm going to install this distribution both on a hard drive and on a USB flash drive. And I'll show you how easy it is here. Okay, I'm under Slacks uh, 6 and come back here. Okay, here's some different modules that I've uh, downloaded. Uh, Audacity being one, GIMP being another one. Uh, Nero. Nero uh, 3 is available for Linux. Uh, Wireshark, uh, Firefox, Nmap, and VLC. VLC is a, a very nice uh, player program. All we need to do is take these and we'll put them inside of our uh, Slacks folder here under Modules. And all we need to do is just copy them, paste them in here. There's Audacity. And I can go back and grab a few more. Uh, Firefox is a good one. Copy. Back over here under Modules. And paste her in. There's a couple. We can add quite a few more. Now all I need to do is take my uh, two folders, Boot and Slacks, and put those onto my uh, either my hard drive that I want to uh, install this on, or USB drive. So I'll take them and highlight them. Right click, copy, and I'm going to place these on my C drive. So I'm going to come back to my computer here, C drive, and I'll just paste them in. It's about 108 uh, megabytes of data, so it's going to take just a few seconds to uh, paste it. Now that I have it on the hard drive, and this is the same as you would do for USB drive. I'm going to go into my boot file, or boot folder, and right here it says boot INST uh, bat. All I'm going to do is click on that. It's going to say welcome to the boot installer. This installer will set up uh, disk C to boot, only slacks. Uh, press any key to continue. I'm going to go ahead and press any key. It's going to hit it and did it, did it that quickly. So what it did, it put a boot sector, like a master boot record, onto drive C, and that'll allow Slacks to boot. And that's it. Uh, next, I'm going to go ahead and reboot this computer, and we're going to boot into Slacks. Okay, the computer's booting back up now. Uh, thank you for using Slacks. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to select the uh, Slacks graphics uh, VSA mode. VSA. It's booting up now. Loading the boot installer takes uh, only a few seconds, really, just to uh, get Slack started. Very fast program, uh, very very streamlined. A uh, great tool for the technician, since we can uh, do so many modifications with it. We can use it for uh, recovering files and restoring Windows. Uh, we can for running antivirus programs and for uh, moving files uh, from one computer to another or burning them onto a CD-ROM. Uh, back there uh, where we saw the two folders, the Slacks folder and the boot folder, those folders were downloaded from the Slacks uh, website. Uh, I took the USB uh, download, and uh, it was a TAR uh, extension. 
used a 7-zip to untar it or uncompress it. And all we had was just those two folders. And those two folders is what I used to uh, uh, install it onto this hard drive. And then I also used it to install it on a USB drive. Same procedure. Great little program. It's a program that you should be using and you should get familiar with. That's it for now. Thank you very much.